Lights. Welcome back to Building a House from Trees. Uh, thanks for tuning in this week. <clears throat> this week is basically just kind of the final connections and connecting all the lights and the switches and making sure everything works. Um, I wanted to do that before insulation and that's going to start next week or the week after. I've got drywall scheduled for the last week of October. It is happening. Whew. Um, I'm incredibly happy that the lights work. Um, you'll see that in the, this video. I kind of, I was surprised even myself by some of the stuff, like some of the footage of just my, my surprise, which is good. I'm, I'm glad, you know, I'm, I'm glad I was surprised. Uh, anyway, I'm really glad it works. It's very nice to be able to work in full light in there. I'm gonna have to pull them down, you know, when, when we start putting up insula insulation and stuff. But uh, as of right now, it's just lovely. It's lovely to have the lights in there. It's lovely to be able to work. And it's lovely that it all works. All the three-way switches work. Big spotlights work, the outdoor light. I mean, those are just, you know, lobbed into place. But anyway, thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for all the likes, the comments, and all that stuff. And I appreciate the, the kindness in this corner of the internet. So, okay, bye. I was just taking a shower, and it occurred to me that I had forgotten to mention maybe the most important part of this episode, and that was um, Nate Smart uh, from Smart Electric. He's got a small electric company out of Westbrook. Um, I worked with him on a job and we became friends and he's a really good electrician and he was um, willing to help me out and he came up and kind of did a walkthrough before um, once once all my wiring was, I think, I thought at a, at a stage where it could be looked, looked at and he found two little mistakes and um, he noticed I used more wire than I probably needed to have, but it was playing it safe, and that's good. Um, so anyway, I, I, you know, if if you're in Southern Maine and you need some electric work done, uh, Smart Electric. I'll leave the link in the description to his website. I think he's got a website. But anyway, thank you, Nate. And uh, yeah, it was it was incredibly helpful, and I could text him with questions and stuff like that. And uh, so that was great. So anyway, thought I'd squeak the this in here before the episode starts. All right, bye. All right, I'm gonna now make sure my outlets are ready for this and I'm gonna connect a dimmer switch to this and turn power on and see if I've um, figured out the lighting.
this is the first one I'm doing, so it's a little bit slower, but uh, it seems pretty cool. It seems like it's working pretty well. All right, let's go do that. All right, I got my dimmer switch connected. I got my outlets um, connected as well as I think I need to. <coughs> it's tied together temporarily. I'm gonna put outlets in them because I don't need to right now. And, oh, look at this, perfectly labeled. Living room, huh? Let's see. Deck, stairs, master bath. I think living room, that seems about right. Let's see. Well, not total chaos. No fire yet. Oh, boy. I'm sure there's something I'm missing, but whatever. I'm going to flip the switch and see what happens. Oh, how about that? How about that? <laughs> There's light. Oh. And they dim. And they brighten. <laughs> well, that's great. I don't know. I followed the rules and I had really good advice and God, that's exciting. All right, that's four down, um, 46 more to go. <laughs> so I ought to get cracking. Wow, that's fun. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I mean, yeah, there's many, many wildly satisfying things in, in this whole process, and that is definitely one of them. Uh, you know, I think it's, ma it's I don't believe in magic. Um, but that's magic. It's so weird and fun to be able to transfer. It's just such a funny thing. Transferring the sun's light and energy, like all the stored energy of the sun onto the earth, concentrating it into some sort of calorically dense energy source, boiling water <laughs> or something, spinning a turbine, generating electricity through magnets and copper and fields and magic and transferring it through little tubes, through the woods on sticks, old trees, coming in down into wires, coming through new sticks in this house, into switches, into these LEDs, which LEDs, light emitting diodes, who knows what the heck those are? Nobody. Oh, anyway, yeah, it's all very exciting. Um, I'm connecting all these circuits and all these switches and all these lights and first, you know, just testing to see what I think works, what, what's going to be in a good spot, all that stuff, uh, and then just making sure all my wiring is uh, correct before I bury it in insulation, which will be happening in the next couple of weeks. So I've got a lot of work to do. All right.
Okay, well, this is my first uh, three-way switch that I am um, going to test. I've wired up, so that's for the kind of downstairs, roughly. So the entryway over there, and the entryway over there, the front door, and then the more widely used portico door, whatever you want to call it. But um, I put the dimmer over on that side and the switch over here, so here we go. Wow, that's nice. Now, let's see. That is what you want. Oh, that's all right. I can live with that. God, that's cool. Oh, my. It works. So satisfying. <laughs> Giddy up. All right, kitchen lights next. Good and plenty. That is plenty of good light. Holy heck. I think that's enough for the kitchen, huh? We're on daylight and it makes it so much brighter in here. Holy moly. And it works. My wiring is working. Which, I gotta say, is, I mean, I, I don't know. It's not staggering, but I'm, I'm really psyched. <laughs> oh, that's good stuff. Very good. I'm a big fan of that box. I don't think that joke lands quite yet, but it will. Trust me, it will. Fan.